Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, New Ink from F Ferris Wheel Press. This is their latest release, Poison Envy. And I, I've got this, I've had this for a little while and it's just been sitting here so I haven't had a chance to do a review on it. But it's definitely got uh, two of my cool favorite colors, purple and green combined. And as with all boxes from Ferris Wool Press, they give you a little bit of history about, oh, not history, description of what the ink is going to be. So you can see here that the base is going to be purple. There's supposedly some yellow sheen, and the shimmer is a greenish pink. And it says no shading, so we're going to take a look at that. This is a 20 mil bottle. And if you've been buying these, you know that the most vocal concern or comment about this is this how small the opening is when it comes to these 20 mil bottles and uh, I typically like to use my uh, Bach titanium medium 8 nib but I don't think that's going to fit into there so we're going to have to take a look and see if it does or not we're going to shake this up a little bit and We'll give this a run and take a look at how this looks with, okay, a little hard to tell from that, just looks like a dark purple, so we'll give that a try. The bottle itself, you can see on the inside, if you can, a little bit, you can see the purple outlining the rim there, so we'll give that a run. Oh yeah, this is laying down nice and dark, and then comes down to a nice standard purple. So like purple black in the beginning, and then we'll do a second layer there. And then a little heavier application there. And a little swirl. And since I have this out, I'm also going, so this is Galen Leathers uh, everyday notebook and Tomoe River 52 GSM and then this is the color coloring uh, paper so I'm going to get that a little swab there so we can see the difference in the two this paper is nice it's great for swatching but you can feel the uh, the paper if that makes sense you can definitely feel the the grip of the paper onto the q-tip as well so we'll give that a try and see what's up uh, and like I said my number eight nib will not fit into there so I'm going to have to go get my other pen if you will just one second okay I'm back and I went to go get uh, one of the first dip pens I bought the Rory and Klinger uh, dip pen I think this is one of the very first ones I've got in again it's just got the nice narrow um, nib for the glass nib so that's going to fit inside this bottle very nicely again it's beautiful bottle beautiful work but just is very hard to get any decent nib into there to do anything so let's see here this is the Ferris wheel press and then this is the oops already out this is the, one of the things I, I don't know if it's the ink or if it's the nib but it is not holding the ink very well in the glass nib there so uh, this is poison NV oops hey. So we can start seeing some of the green sheen coming in. Uh, green. I don't remember really seeing any pink into there. So we'll have to see if it uh, emerges a little bit later and go from there. But yeah, you can definitely see some of the uh, green. It's definitely got, you know, a heavier application. You're going to get a lot of that across. Um, unfortunately, with this dip pen. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of that in the actual writing itself. So we'll give that a whirl. And then the color o-ring 
Um, the heavy application ended up just saturating it with a green sheen. So definitely maybe not so heavy, <laughs> but uh, you know, obviously probably a good uh, broad would be okay. Maybe a 1.1 might be pushing it. If you really want to get a little bit of the contrast of the purple and the sheen mixed together. So we'll see what that comes into play, but um, I'll write the name of this a little bit later just because uh, I don't want to deal with it on camera with the the uh, the nib on this thing or if it's just the ink. So I might try it out on another uh, dip pen that I have and see if it's just maybe this bad boy here that's a problem versus the ink itself. Um, I Like I said, I typically like using my... Um, this this pen is, uh, what do you call it, uh, printed. So it's just basically 3D printed. And it's got a medium titanium Bach nib into there with a uh, ebonite feet. So I typically like using this one as well. And I got the, I discovered this through Penultimate Dave. Penultimate Dave, when he does his um, ink reviews, kind of has a description of what he uses. And this was one of them. And I really liked the idea of a dip pan, I like the idea of just basically having something that can be interchanged and then kind of go from there and kind of while we're waiting for that to dry, it's also pretty cool. So if you wanted to put in some um, beads or something to weigh this down, you can, you can kind of do that. That's what um, was kind of mentioned as to why this unscrewed so you get a little bit more weight out of it if you want a little bit of that in there. So that, that, that was us kind of cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, the green sheen. Definitely coming in on the color ring paper and then on the Tomoe River paper you can definitely see that happening um, in the heavy swatch, the swirl, and then obviously the, the big huge lay down of ink. Um, levy hay down, I, I kind of worked out this way, a huge lay down, uh, heavy lay down, a medium, and then the light. So I think I like the light aspect of it a little bit more because the purple comes through without the heavy sheen on the side. So um, that's the uh, Ferris wheel press. Uh, Poison Envy. This is the 20 mil bottle. Um, so thanks a lot, everybody. Again, if you haven't liked or subscribed, I really appreciate it. I want to thank everyone that subscribed already. I just went over 400, so that's awesome. Thank you so much. And I will continue to, do the, to continue to do these as time allows. And of course, always if the budget allows. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Bye.